Addy? What? You can give me back my Christmas tree now. What are you talking about? I went downstairs to get some ornaments for my tree, but when I came back it was gone. Where did you put it? I didn't put it anywhere. I've been in my room listening to music. I know you weren't just sitting in your room because I heard footsteps when I was in the basement and mom and dad aren't home. Well, it wasn't me. Maybe mom and dad got back from their shopping trip. They said they'd be gone all day. I know it was you, Addie. It wasn't me, but if there's someone walking around in this house that isn't you or me, we'd better take a look. We'll see. Julian, look! That shouldn't be open when mom and dad aren't here. Did you notice if that was open before you heard the footsteps? I don't remember it being open, but I didn't really look that way. Maybe dad left it open when he got the newspaper this morning. Julian, look! What? The presents are gone. Addie, did you take the presents too? It wasn't me, Jillian. Well, who else would take our presents? I'm guessing it's whoever made those footsteps. Did you hear anything else? Well, when I was in here before, I thought I might have seen something moving outside. That would have been nice to know a few minutes ago. It didn't seem important at the time. Wait a minute, what's that out there? What? What is that, Jillian? Addie, if someone's in the house, we better call Mom and Dad. What are you doing? Why aren't you calling mom and dad? We can call them, but I don't know if it'll help. What are you talking about? I have a theory about what's going on, but you have to promise not to laugh. This better not be part of some elaborate prank, Addie. It's not. Just promise me you'll take this seriously. Alright, what do you think's happening? I think we might have a Grinch in the house. A Grinch? I know, it sounds crazy. When you say Grinch, you mean like a burglar that doesn't like Christmas? Think about it, Jillian. Only Christmas stuff has been stolen, and there was green fur on that hedge outside. But so what? It could still be a burglar dressed up as the Grinch. A burglar wouldn't take just Christmas stuff, would he? I guess not, but the Grinch isn't real. He's just a fictional character. I read a disturbing article this morning. You better read this. Green Yeti-like creatures sighted in area? Exactly. Recent sightings of ape-like creature that came down from the mountains? Read the part about the evidence. Tufts of greenish fur found. The fur is green from the same algae that grows in caves near here. A woman claims a Santa Claus outfit was stolen from her display? I think it was looking for a disguise, so it could blend in. Okay, but even if this green mountain yeti exists, why would he be interested in stealing our Christmas decorations? Maybe we've been looking at this backwards. You're gonna have to explain. Maybe this creature was around long before the Grinch. Maybe it even inspired the Grinch story to begin with. So let's just suppose all of this is true. What are we supposed to do about it? We can't just sit here and let him take all our Christmas stuff. If he's smart enough to dress up as Santa for disguise, maybe he'll listen to reason. If he's the shy creature that yetis are supposed to be, he might just go away if we try to confront him. 
We'd better stop him before he comes back for the main tree. He hasn't taken anything else. There's more decorations in the basement. Come on. Grinch, are you in there? We have to look. Everything seems to be here. Maybe he is gone. You saw me close that door before, Addy. Maybe he left that way. Maybe we should just call mom and dad anyway. What, and tell them there's a Grinch in the house? It was just a theory. I mean, we haven't even seen it yet, have we? I guess not. Mom? Dad? Is that you? Hey! We'll make you a deal. You can keep what you've taken if you just leave now. We promise we won't tell anyone about you. But you have to promise to stop stealing and go back up to the mountains. We don't need all that stuff. We already have a loving family. Do you think this is gonna work? Julian, look! Everything's here. He gave it all back. Jillian, look! How did he do that? Maybe he does have magic powers. Maybe he's not just an animal in a cave. So I guess everything's back to normal. Jillian, when you said all you need is a loving family, did you really mean it? You forgot to get me a Christmas present again, didn't you? No, you were just talking about how you don't need a present. Wait a minute. Thanks, Addy. Where did you get these? Oh, you know, I had a friend drop them off for me. Even though it's not Christmas yet, I think we can sneak a few. Sounds good to me. Buy our merch, buy our merch, there's so many you'll find plenty, buy our merch. With the holiday season in full swing, it's the perfect time for some Jillian and Addy merch. Check out our new chicken and dummy designs. And how about this new selection of blankets? We have book bags, mugs, face masks, and a whole lot more. Just click on the links below, and they'll take you to our Teespring store. Or just go to JillianandAddy.com. It's all good. So that was You're a Mean One, Grinch in Real Life. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other two channels. There's Jillian and Addy Life, our vlogging channel, and Jillian and Addy Laugh, our comedy channel. They're a lot of fun. Tell us what you thought about this video on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories most every day. We even post sneak previews of our upcoming videos, like this one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where's Paka? I don't know.
He's made himself scarce today. Yep. Mm -hmm. Trust us. He's still here somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Is he under the oh. tree?